Have you ever had a time when you're cooking so many things at once in your kitchen that you simply run out of available timers? I don't know about you, but if you're anything like me and willing to own up to it, the answer is certainly yes. And while additional kitchen timers are not exactly something that will break the bank, it does get to be kind of a chore having many of them around at once when they all get to needing batteries or trying to figure out where they've wandered off to this time or anything along those lines. Well, I recently came across the solution, for me at least, in an area thrift store. This is an American Scientific Products catalog number C6510-1 electronic digital timer, which I recently picked up at an area thrift store for a whopping 69 cents. Now you have to be careful when you start throwing around money like that, because people are bound to think that you're some kind of high roller. Ordinarily, a digital timer isn't really all that exciting and probably not something I would make a video about. However, this timer was designed by someone or a group of someones who had their act really together and it's got a lot of neat features. The first and most important feature, at least for the kitchen application, is that this is not just one timer, it's actually three timers in one timer you can actually set three different times and they can all be running at once. So this suddenly alleviates the kitchen timer crunch, even though I suppose that this unit was probably intended for precision scientific timing applications such as laboratory experiments and the like. Nevertheless, it works just fine as a kitchen timer. And the way you would start it up is you would press the button that you want to use there is a character in the display that indicates which timer you are presently using and you can set the hours, minutes, and seconds that you desire. Then you press the number button again and the timer starts to count down. So I'll go ahead and just put a couple of seconds on here. Unfortunately this thing was a victim of leaky batteries and it probably needs more of a cleaning than I've given it. So the buttons are a little bit on the touchy side. But when I press the number one button the timer will run. You press the number one button again to shut the buzzer off and the timer itself shuts off if it has nothing else to do. Now you probably noticed that the beep pattern was a single beep with about a second or so's worth of delay in between the beeps. That's how this thing differentiates between the different timers so you can know which one is going off. For example if I hit button 2 now and I put a couple of seconds on the clock and I go ahead and start it, you'll notice that the beep pattern is different. The same is true for timer number three. It's also possible to operate multiple timers at once. For example, you can turn on timer number one and input a certain amount of time on it. The button does repeat, you just have to hold it down the right way. I'll go ahead and start that timer. Then I'll go to timer number two. And after a moment, I'll go ahead and start it. Oops. Well, it's one more second than I wanted. Now I can switch between the two timers. And as you can see, they are both running. And they will both go off at different times. I could also start the third timer if I so desired. And that's pretty much it. I just happened to think that this nifty little multitasking timer was cool enough to be worth sharing. So thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment if you have one.